Well, a couple of things have happened over the last three or to four years. There's been a couple of breakthroughs. First of all, there was a landmark study which showed that treatment not only saves lives and keeps people healthy, but also is, in essence, the most effective prevention approach. So treatment for HIV is prevention for HIV. There's also studies which show that treating people before they were infected with HIV, targeted populations or select populations, could protect those individuals from acquiring HIV. And also, there, was an there is an individual now who scientific community feels collectively has been cured of HIV. And I think these taken together, these advances, put us into a position that if we can apply the results of the findings that we know, put money behind what we know works, and continue the research, that we can usher in what's been called an AIDS-free generation. We recognized in preparation for the International AIDS Conference that we had an, oppor to do, an opportunity to do tremendous good, and that is to put the new science that we have now for AIDS into action and begin to end the AIDS epidemic. We thought that one of the most effective ways to do that would be to, in conjunction with the International AIDS Conference, was to go public with a declaration that called for a global commitment to end the AIDS epidemic. How long do you think it'll take? I don't think anybody knows how long it's going to take, but I think we all know if we don't begin to act now, the task is only going to be greater. And we feel that the cost of inaction right now is just simply tremendous, which is why we're calling for more money spent more smartly to be invested in AIDS and begin to end the epidemic.